Good morning to everyone.
गुड मॉर्निंग सो एक्चुअली ऑलरेडी शेयर दैट लिंक ऑल दोस थिंग्स Yeah, actually yesterday session uh, so i missed that uh, recording okay yeah. yeah don't worry about that okay i will try to make uh, like what we had discussed yesterday session so i will uh, um, i will upload uh, one more time meena what we are missed i will upload in our yesterday session topic completely i will uh, prepare one more time in my system main individually and i will upload it and uh, after that you can continue to this class and we have document also so you can try to go with document okay so you can easy to understand okay yeah, thank you so much You can see my screen. Thank you. How oh, no, long? yeah okay in organization structure we are completed like uh, four five steps okay so already we, we are defined company and company code and business area and assigned to company to company code and we are completed fiscal year variant so yesterday we had discussed this area only okay i maintained in document so i already shared this document to everyone in our group so yesterday we started like you know, from company code okay after company code business area after business area assign company code to company then different fiscal year variant okay our fiscal year variant is t9 so our calendar year is 2024 so our 2000 in um, our business uh, period is started from april to march okay so uh, like that so in sap from fourth month it is related to first period okay fifth period like april in our sap system that is a first period may it is a second period so like that so we are uh, maintained in sap so this is the complete picture like first period april second period may third period june so like that 12th period is march so we discuss this area you can just uh, so uh, someone or missed the yesterday session okay so i will make one more video on this area okay dev don't worry about that actually yesterday i forgot to do yeah now we will start next step assign fiscal year variant to company code the t code is ob37 okay when you are going to assign your company code to a uh, particular activity you just go to position 
position you can maintain your, your company code our company code is 2030 enter okay so this is our company code our company name and already we are maintained our fiscal year uh, year variant is uh, t9 okay t9 so just assign with t9 So you just maintain T9. You just go to position and maintain a company code, enter. Then you can find it your uh, company code. After that, just maintain your fiscal year variant. After that, you can save it. Okay, then you enter. After we enter, just save it. Okay, enter. Okay, data was saved. So assign a fiscal year variant to company code. T code is OB twenty, OB thirty nine. Okay. So here you just go with your company code and uh, enter. Then it will directly comes our company code. So there you can assign with our fiscal year variant. So next step is defined posting period variant. Okay. So. This defined posting period variant, it is like a. Uh, so, how we can explain it now? Mm, I will tell you. So, first I will create that. OBBO, OBBO, hmm? Ah, huh. directly, man, I'm Google just now. I need to go to the entity ports. No problem. Don't worry. So. Uh, logic and two can you untie and for example. If to start in at one name, uh, finance department to some on the mine at way. Okay. Uh, so it look on your time. So we future look up on and okay. So I can check the easy guy out of my pot. I mean, you could go to start this time with a you could go x15 x02. So you want the organization someone in general matter. Okay, you could go be 29. Completely the wo to start just it T codes and me. So what T code started with the wo? So that is completely related with organizations. Okay, define posting period variant. Just go to new entries. Okay, so I maintain like uh, our variant is two zero three zero. Enter. So this is my. Two zero three zero posting period variant. Okay. 
then save it. So which activity we are performing in SAP? So this completely development, what we are doing now. So it is completely development only. So in real time, we will, what activity we are developing in development system, we move to another system. Already we discuss in first session only. So how we can move that activity. Next to save. Enter. Next, we are maintained posting period variant. Okay. So then now we will move to assign. Okay. Which activity we are developing SAP? Okay. That is, we, we should assign with our company code. So assign posting period variant to company code. The T code is OBBP. The same position when we are going to assign okay we just go to position only our company code is 2030 enter <coughs> so our posting period variant also 2030 enter Then say it. Next to open and close posting period. So this open and close posting period, like uh, a <clears throat> So in SAP period, I mean months, okay. So we have completely 12 periods and four special period. Okay, already we discussed in last session. Okay, so in special period, what we are going to do? So in special period, I mean we have four special period. In special period, particularly we will maintain like a previous minimum backdated entries, we will push there in special period. Okay, and uh, auditing okay and our financial report and balance it so everything we will maintain in special periods only so now i will go to create our open and close posting period variant okay the t code is ob52 So when we are going to maintain, so here, new entries. Okay, my variant is 2030. Okay, here, this is activity type. Okay, so here, we have different types of like uh, A indicates, okay, A indicates assets. In SAP, D indicates customer, K indicates vendor, M indicates material, S indicates GL accounts, V indicate contract accounts. Okay, so we can maintain, when we are going to maintain like plus symbol, so it is applicable for all activities. Okay, we never maintain like specially, like uh, for example, so we don't uh, mention like A, D, K, M, S and V also. So we just maintain plus activity, mean plus so it is applicable for all activities. Okay. 
So next, so we don't need to maintain this okay, from account to account. Just uh, directly we will go with uh, periods. Okay, this is first period. Mean uh, our first period is April year 2024. Two period. Our two period is 12th period. Mean March period. Okay. Next, uh, our fiscal year is 2024. Again, from period two. So this from period two indicates special period. So our special period started with 13th. Okay, 13, 2024. And ended with, so we have completely four special period. Okay, ended with 16. Fiscal year 2024. Okay, this is business calendar, business year. Okay, so our uh, variant 2030 okay so this is applicable for all activities so, okay for example in our business all types of I mean when we are going to like make one transaction so it is depends on like a customer vendors uh, that is related with asset so gls so this activity mainly involved in when we are going to posting okay so for example now we are in first period this is first period mean April period. In case I am going to open only first period only. So this complete business will run in first period only. I mean April to April, uh, April to April. I mean this complete business it will run. Uh, it will go into first period only. Okay. So it kind of from one uh, to one and petina pudu. Okay. Manu complete business and nadi April month lone and nadu sadan mata. Okay, you could have SAP low manic main advantage and that monthly wise money of the business need record. We can maintain our business monthly wise. Okay, for example, we when we are going to open one period only. Okay, there is okay now. So you put manam waka period ni matrame the open jeshna. So complete business motam. Okay, so entire you put manam yepudaita waka period ni matrame open jeshna. So you complete the April month I enter work. So, this period alone transactions are not be So, in case in April month, I po in Okay, we will move to next month. So, at that time, we will go to open second period. So, at that time, we will maintain here second and here also second. Okay, so at that time, our business completely go to May month. Okay, so like that, this SAP is provided to uh, us. So, actually, this is month end activity. Okay, every month end, uh, so every month end functional consultant, me, FICO function, uh, functional consultant, only he can do this job. Okay, so when he cannot open that period, so next month business cannot uh, record it in that SAP system. Okay, so you put it next month period, so now we can open it. Next month, we can transaction in the Jaragavandi. So that is the reason. So we must and should open that next period. For example, you put Manaku, Manamu, August month loan. Manamu, Manaku, August under the year period of Sadandi, Mana SAP calendar program. Yeah, perfect. Correct. Fifth period. Then you put fifth period under the open gesture. Okay, you could put a fifth period open gesture. I maintain like. Fifth period only. Mean August month business matrame nadaval na ke SAP lo. Okay, August type po intervata September ko el tan kadandi puru. So September ke leta puru neenu. I fifth period ni close jayali. So next neenu sixth period ni open jayali. So evi dang maintain jayalan mata. Lega bo the real time lo lo etlo ntai ante konni organization. Anni kadu konni organization achi. Uh, so monthly wise monthly monthly wise jal tun rahe. For example ikkada. Uh, first period another record is a record good first period another record is they are maintained in first period like that so after that mj sunday so just a uh, kind business and the first period which directly the second period or for an hour okay at last second period i point the third period fourth period sixth period so it la it la maintain just come to wealth under the matter and a kony organizations kony organization achieve only monthly wise will turn type Okay, Kony organization of complete whole year. Ante from uh, April to March or any periods and I open JS to all. 
ఓకే ఈ విధంగా కంప్లీట్ గా ఓపెన్ చేసి పెట్టేస్తుంది అనమాట అంటే సో వీ కెన్ మెయింటైన్ అవర్ బిజినెస్ సో కంప్లీట్ ఇయర్స్ ఓకే వీ కెన్ నాట్ ఓపెన్ స్పెషల్లీ లైక్ వీ కెన్ నాట్ రన్ అవర్ బిజినెస్ లైక్ మంత్లీ వైజ్ సో ఇట్ విల్ ఐ మీన్ సిస్టమ్ డిఫాల్ట్ టేక్ దట్ డేటా ఓకే సిస్టమ్ అనేది డిఫాల్ట్ గా తీసుకుంటుంది అనమాట అంటే ఈ మంత్ లో ఇన్ని యాక్టివిటీస్ నడిచినాయి సో ఈ మంత్ లో ఇన్ని యాక్టివిటీస్ నడిచినాయి అంటే ఈ మంత్ లో ఇంత బిజినెస్ నడిచింది సో కంప్లీట్ గా ఎస్ఐపి ఆటోమేటిక్ గా రికార్డ్ చేసుకుంటుంది అనమాట సిస్టమ్ లో ఓకే సో నవ్ మనము ఫిఫ్త్ పీరియడ్ లో ఉన్నాం కదా సో ఇది రియల్ టైమ్ లో చూడడానికి పాసిబిలిటీ ఉంటుంది సో నేను ఫిఫ్త్ పీరియడే ఓపెన్ చేస్తాను మళ్ళీ కన్వర్ట్ చేసుకుందాం ఓకే సో నవ్ ఐ ఆమ్ మెయింటైన్ ఫిఫ్త్ పీరియడ్ ఓన్లీ మెయిన్ ఆగస్ట్ పీరియడ్ ఓన్లీ సో నవ్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు సేవ్ దిస్ so it is clear సో మన యాక్టివిటీ మెయింటైన్ అవ్వలేదు అంటే రికార్డ్ అవ్వలేదు సో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు అగైన్ న్యూ ఎంట్రీస్ సేమ్ సో మై పీరియడ్ ఇస్ టూ జీరో త్రీ జీరో సో అన్ని యాక్టివిటీస్కి మెయింటైన్ అయ్యేటట్లు ఇస్తున్నా ఓకే సో యూ షుడ్ ఆల్సో మెయింటైన్ లైక్ దట్ ఓన్లీ సో యూ షుడ్ ఆల్సో టేక్ ప్లస్ సింబల్ ఓన్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ అప్లికబుల్ ఫర్ అలా యాక్టివిటీస్ డోంట్ వరీ అబౌట్ దట్ అండ్ బ్లాంకెట్ లైక్ ఫ్రమ్ అకౌంట్ అండ్ టు అకౌంట్ ఓకే డోంట్ వాంట్ అండ్ డైరెక్ట్లీ గో విత్ పీరియడ్ ఫైవ్ I mean, our business is, uh, our business current in like fifth month. So that is the reason we are open fifth month only. So here, 2024. Under two period is fifth only. 2024. Next two period, our special period. Here started with 13th, 2024. 2024. I ended with 16, 2024. Okay, then enter. Okay. Next, save it. Huh? అంటే మనకు క్యాలెండర్ ఇయర్ అయిపోయిన తర్వాత అండి అవి చేసేది సో మనకు కంప్లీట్ గా బిజినెస్ అన్నవి సో వై వీ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ దిస్ స్పెషల్ పీరియడ్ మీన్ ఓకే సో కొన్ని ఎంట్రీస్ అన్నవి ఉంటాయి అనమాట అంటే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ లైన్ ఐటమ్స్ అన్నవి జనరేట్ చేసి ఉంటాం కస్టమర్ అండ్ వెండర్ వి ఓకే కానీ ఆ లైన్ ఐటమ్స్ అన్నవి విత్ ఇన్ టైమ్ లో క్లియర్ అవ్వవు అనమాట ఓకే క్లియర్ అవ్వనివి కొంచెం హోల్డ్ లో పెడతాం ఓకే హోల్డ్ లో పెట్టిన తర్వాత సో మనకు ఎప్పుడైతే మనం ఫిజికల్ ఇయర్ అయిపోయి ఉంటారు అంటే కంప్లీట్ గా ట్వెల్వ్ పీరియడ్స్ అనేవి అయిపోయి ఉంటారు నెక్స్ట్ థర్టీన్త్ పీరియడ్ నుంచి మనము మన యొక్క ఫైనాన్షియల్ రిపోర్ట్ తీయడానికి ఓకే బ్యాలెన్స్ షీట్ తీయడానికి ఓకే సో దాని మీద అండ్ ఆడిటింగ్ చేపడానికి ఓకే వాటి మీద మనం వర్కౌట్ చేస్తుంటాం ఓకే అట్లాంటి టైంలలో మనకు కంప్లీట్ గా మీన్ ఇట్లా స్పెషల్ పీరియడ్ లేకపోతే సో ఇట్లా బ్యాక్ డేటెడ్ ఎంట్రీస్ ఉన్నాయి కదండి సో అవి పోస్ట్ చేయడానికి పాసిబిలిటీస్ అన్నవి ఉండవు అనమాట అంటే మనము ఏ ఇయర్ లో ఉన్నాయో అవి ఓకే ఇవి బ్యాక్ డేటెడ్ ఎంట్రీస్ అవన్నీ ఆ ఇయర్ లోనే మెన్షన్ చేస్తారు అనమాట సో దానికోసం మనము ఈ స్పెషల్ పీరియడ్ అన్నవి తీసుకోవాల్సి వస్తుంది
Yes, yes, correct, correct. Back date entries. Yes. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah, next is save. Okay, we may so our uh, period is open like fifth period only. Fifth period means August. Okay, Manamo August period in Matrame open just fetch in Okay, Mana business mutam August period alone post out the end matter. So Manaka September under previous girl, uh, March, April, May work was so, June work man business and Navi Nadavandi. Okay, July work. Okay, Manaka just fifth period lo Matrame. Business and other not study. So this is like month end activity and year end activity. Okay. So when we are change our periods, that is a month end activity. When we are going to change year, that is a year end activity. Okay. This is comes under both uh, levels, year end and month end. So this job related with the FICO consultant only. Okay. He only maintain this area. Next, our step is define number ranges for GL account, GL document type. That T code is OBS again. Document types and we chala unta and SAP lo. Okay. So, manaku GL ki document types unta di. Okay. Vendors ki document types unta di. Customer lo guda document types unta di. Asset guda manaku document type unta di. Okay, which activity performing in uh, our SAP? So they everywhere. So there is document types. So now we are maintained GL document type. Okay, so GL document type. What's it? So now we are going to OBA seven. Okay, our GL document type. What's it? Yes, yes. Okay, our GL document type is yes, yes. Then click on enter. Okay, so this GL document type is yes, yes, related with GL accounts only. Okay, so is yes, ESA and the GL document type. Okay, then the complete GL summon in China 20 data matrame on tadi. So there is only GL data in SA document type. Okay, so it la manaku different types of document types. So you can confess to Nagada. So so ye and the asset posting summon the summon in Chindi. You put a Japanese, it la chala on tandy. Customer payment, CP uh, and uh, customer document DA. So it will different types of uh, documents on the So we manam ye area it discuss yes tamo. So a area lo unna twenty document gori chhi discuss yes kunte. So manam gudo clarity untam dhan minda. Okay. So which area performing that that activity related with which document type? So we will discuss in that area only. Okay. Don't worry about that. So now we are maintained in our SAP GL document types. So that GL document type is a SA. Now we are maintained number ranges for SAGL document. So these all are standard. Okay, okay, we cannot change this. This is system standard, SAP standard. Okay, now click on number ranges in number range information. Okay, next our company code. Our company code is 2030. Okay, change intervals. So our number ranges is 01. Year 2024. From all zeros. So complete numbers, maximum numbers is changed. Okay, now. So mention maximum numbers. So 1 all zeros to 1 zero all nines. Okay, maximum number say HND, don't worry about that. Next, enter. 
Okay, now save. Okay, click on enter. Yeah. So why we are mentioned mean? So this is like document number ranges. Okay. So when we are going to, for example, we are going to post one GL entry, one debit and one credit. Okay. At that time posting level. Okay. So when that complete activity posted, so at that time that uh, document recorded with this numbers only. Okay. So like one, all zeros. So first document. Next document, when we are going to post post that document, at that time it will come one all zeros too. So I will show it in a GL, uh, I mean when we are, I mean general ledger accounting. So after this uh, organization structure, so we are going to perform in this area only. At that time you can easy to understand. Okay. So now, yeah. Okay. Thank you. So save it. Okay. Data is saved. No problem. So I will show it again, okay, because this is some different path, minimum, many paths here, okay. So first what we are doing, so OBA 7, enter, okay, after that go to position, so I maintain step by step here, okay, don't confuse about that, okay, first step is go to position. First step position. Next, click on S A. Okay, type it S A. Okay, click on enter. Okay, directly it will come S A G L documented. Okay, double click it on uh, SA document. Okay, double click here. Okay, double click it. Okay. No, so that is the reason I uh, beginning only I just I mean informed. So this is like standard. Okay, SAP standard. Okay, we cannot, no, 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 we cannot uh, do like that. So this is standard things only. Yes, yes, correct. Yeah, because this is, mean, yeah, mean now, first this is a, like, now we are maintaining GL document type. Okay, so already SAP is maintained for GL document type. So in case we have like different documents apart from this SAP. Okay, now at that time you can create your own. Okay, so which is not defined in SAP, you can create your own. Okay, in system will provide that, that much of uh, facilities also. Okay, don't worry about that. So it is already predefined. Okay, how we can create other, other document type. So that is the reason which is standard things, so we can maintain standard, I mean, that area only. I mean, we are not going to maintain others. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Good doubt. So next here, our company code, 2030. Okay, after maintain this uh, company code, you just click on change interval. This is a change interval.
Okay, change interval. Now it is perfect. Okay, change interval. So then you are going to directly create number ranges. Okay, it is clear. Yeah, thank you. Now we will go to create next step field status variant. Okay. So the T code is OBC4. So here, first we will copy with uh, 0001 field status. Okay. Two zero three zero my field status variant. Two zero three zero. Enter. Okay. Click on copy all. Okay, here. So I will maintain it. Click on copy all. Click on copy on. So completely 25 uh, dependent entries are copied. Okay. So 25 entries are copied. Enter. Okay. Now save it. So actually this field status variant uh, advantage is, so this field status variant is control the fields. Okay. When we are going to like uh, post the any transactions like uh, GLs or vendor, customer or asset, whatever also. So at the time, okay, uh, there is some fields. Okay. So I will show you too. So I will uh, stay with these screens only. Slash for FB50. Okay, FB50, it is a GL posting. Company code 1995. Yeah, so this is GL document, uh, GL posting. Okay, here, so these all are the field, okay, like GL account, uh, account debit, credit, amount, uh, and uh, different types of fields here. Okay, in case I need here some uh, assignment or a text, uh, so the, there is a one text. This is tax code. So whatever also. So which field I need mandatory, which field I need uh, like uh, suppress. Okay, like that we can maintain in this area only. Okay, we have three options. Okay, man, man, mandatory to fill and suppress. And one more option is, uh, uh, I will tell you. For example, I am going to like uh, select the general data. Okay. So this is completely like uh, general data. So here, in case when I am going to like general data, so, so here we have three field, three options is available like suppress, required entry and optional okay in case i need like uh, when we are going to like post the text so when we are going to maintain like a required so at that time when we are going to post the gl entry so there is mandatory to fill the text so without text so see here text without a text this document cannot post okay in case uh, when we are going to like uh, maintain uh, so uh, like here uh, assignment number so here also assignment uh, here assignment okay so without assignment number this document cannot post when we are going to maintain like uh, required 
okay so this field status variant is control the fields uh, so uh, at the posting level okay that is the advantages of this uh, posting keys okay so we have completely three field status uh, actually we have three uh, uh, options are available in sap that is suppresses required and optional entries so when we are going to maintained in required so at that time we, we need to maintain 100 percent without uh, maintain that uh, area so that the document cannot work optional entry mean so you can maintain you cannot maintain it, it depends on you only so when we are going to suppresses so so it is never ask to never ask that uh, system okay so when we are going to maintain like optional there is ask like a yellow warning so you can maintain so if you need it Okay, but when we are going to like suppresses, so at that time it is never asked. So I will uh, I will show it. I maintained in required only like text. Okay, so I will show it in a posting level. Okay, at that time it is asked mandatory. Okay, now I am going to save. So these are this is completely like uh, field status. We have forty one fields. So these are the forty one fields. So this completely 41 fields under our field status group only. Okay, 2030 our field status group. So in this group, we have 41 uh, uh, entries, okay. Mean um, related with these our activities. So I will mention one more screenshot here. Okay, these are the field status suppressed, required, and uh, optional. Now we will go to assign our field status variant to company code. Okay. So the T code is OBC5. OBC5. Enter. Directly position. When we are going to assign with our company code to that activity, directly we will go to position. Enter company code 2030. To save it. Enter. Maintain our field status value in 2030. Enter. And save it. So this is assigned. Uh, next step, uh, step is the different chart of accounts. Okay, so we will discuss about this chart of account in next session. Okay, so you have any doubts? Okay, please ask me. So from beginning to till now. So you are when we are going to like practice in your system. So there is any error, whatever also you are what you are getting the issues. So please share me, and uh, I will try to help you. Or you have any doubts, you can ask me no problem.
Yeah, okay, thank you. సో ఎవరైనా ఎస్ఐపి సర్వర్స్ తీసుకోకపోతే వాళ్ళు కాంటాక్ట్ అవ్వండి ఓకేనా సో వితౌట్ ప్రాక్టీస్ మనం ముందుకెళ్ళడం చాలా టఫ్ అండి సో క్లాసెస్ విన్నంత మాత్రం సబ్జెక్ట్ గెయిన్ అవ్వడం అంటే అది ఇంపాసిబుల్ ఓకే ఎవరైనా సర్వర్ తీసుకోకపోతే వాళ్ళు కాంటాక్ట్ అవ్వండి ఓకే సో సర్వర్ తీసుకున్న వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళైతే ఖచ్చితంగా ప్రాక్టీస్ అన్నది చేయండి ఓకే ప్రాక్టీస్ అయితే మిస్ చేయకండి పర్ డే ఒక వన్ ఆర్ టూ అవర్స్ స్పెండ్ చేస్తే కూడా మంచిగా ఉంటుందండి ఓకే క్లియర్ కదండి అందరికి యా ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఓకే వీ విల్ మీట్ ఆన్ నెక్స్ట్ సెషన్ ఓకే బాయ్ హ్యావ్ ఎ నైస్ డే